Oh. Wait, what? There's no way, right? Right? It's just a dream. We're just in a dream. It's just a dream. Did that just happen? Hello, hello everyone! Welcome in! <laughs> Welcome in to another video! Today, we are going to be playing the final part of the newest Penacony 2.0 story. I'm super, super hyped. It has been torture waiting 24 hours between streams for me to play this. So I am super duper duper excited. This is going to be the finale. From what I've heard, we only have a hour and a half left of the story. So it's just going to be the finale and ending really. And so far, they haven't really answered anything for me so i'm super curious as to what is going to go on <laughs> soon and yeah 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 so that's the plan for today and i'm super duper hyped you guys some of you are like oh my god it's so sad so i guess we'll find out if it's actually sad will i cry no i don't think i'll cry i don't think i'll cry i think i'll endure yeah yeah i think so no cap no cope <laughs> but yeah i wore i even wore my heart shirt heart shirts for firefly because she's our bestie and she deserves all the happiness and protection we're about to meet up with the crew and then see what happens Super, super excited. But yes, yes, yes. Before we begin, real quick, if you guys enjoy the video and the playthrough and my reactions, then please make sure to drop a like and comment down below. Tell me your thoughts about everything. And also, and subscribe to the channel if you guys would like to be notified the next time I am live or post a video. But yeah, without further ado, let's go. Let's get right into it. But yeah, the last time we left off in the story, we experienced a very creepy nightmare with some horror hallways and then <laughs> got scared by a sound alert and then we got saved by Black Swan and fought a big monster. So now we are gonna go catch back up with our crew, the other um, express crew, and I think we're gonna learn a lot about what is going on behind the scenes in Penacony. So I'm a little... I'm very interested, very curious as to what the lore is and... Yeah, here we go! <laughs> Do a single Look, play, wanna see? Chemical. I brought the After kid back as promised. Uh, you're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. Oh, Black Swan came with us this time. Oh, true, because we she was with us when we woke up. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. So they have met before, so you know each other. The two mommies know each other. I'm not surprised, actually. I'm sure they... Do you think they have a meetup where all of the mommy characters, you know, will meet up now and then, have a book club, something like that, see each other once a month, hang out, discuss how to be sexy as hell? I wonder. I'd love to go to that club. I wouldn't fit in, but that would be, that would be a very good time. Yeah, Miss Himeko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. We've only met once. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. I'd love to get you, get to know you a little bit better. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? Sparkle yeeted me into the Shadowverse, essentially. <laughs> so, the one who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. For now? She's probably so she'll bother us again later? Her job well done. I wouldn't be surprised. How do I enter the club? I know, Gunty, right? <laughs> that would be a banger. It seems you know her well. They're besties. They were having a conversation when we first entered Penacony. Of course. I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying, but the remembrance does not lie. Oh. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations, but that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Sparkle did say that it was the true Penacony. Penacony itself? Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone she fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic. Dangerous. Enigmatic. 
A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. I'm sorry, guys, but the fact that it is called Memory Zone Meme <laughs> completely takes me out of the immersion of it being a scary creature. <laughs> Why is it called Memory Zone Meme? <laughs> that just makes me- that just doesn't make it scary anymore. <laughs> it removes all of the fear factor. But meme is a science term? Really? It is? Let me look it up. Meme meaning. An element of a culture or system behavior passed from one individual to another by imitation or non-genetic means? Oh. I think I do kind of know that. Okay, but we all know that the, uh, we all know the popular meaning of the word meme. So it just is funny because whenever you see it, the only thing I can think of is that, oh, this is a meme that we're spreading around the internet. <laughs> it's pronounced Mei Mei? Okay. The more you learn. Clearly, I'm not cultured enough. <laughs> She's right. Everyone, do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Well, everyone was, oh, into the dreamscape for the first time. It was... The deep sea. Huh. I saw water. So everyone saw the same thing? I remember... Well, it was a room. And then through a mirror. I came to a long hallway. Oh yeah, because we were with Misha there, right? The gallery of thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Yeah, because I remember Misha brought us through that long hallway with the staircase and then the mirror at the end. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Peniconi's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. Yeah, so I guess we have to go through the true dreamscape to enter the fake dreamscape because the fake dreamscape exists within the true dreamscapes, obviously. And... I guess they have curated a few sections of the real dreamscape that are safe for people to travel through. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents... The hotel is now under renovation. Oh, it's because we were in the hotel when we... Just now, when we got yeeted into the Shadow Realm. <laughs> it was the hotel, but kind of dark side. Because <laughs> I remember all of the... It was the same lobby and everything, but then they had things floating and it was all wonky and trippy. I learned the real meaning of the word Mei Mei from the Metal Gear Missing Revengeance. <laughs> Oh, when video games teach you new things. <laughs> what could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what she just experienced, and the answer is clear. It was overrun by the nightmare! Panacone's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form, and falling into the deep sea. The sea? Fontaine to Fontaine? 2.0? Sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Yeah, they're panicking. They're like, we don't know how to fix this. <laughs> Shit. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, mm -hmm. were this to become public, it would, it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. I mean, I guess that's fair, but as long as people... It's still safe for now, right? It's just like slowly decaying. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> Unless someone, I guess, uh... Makes the process go faster. Astral Sea? Sea of Quanta? Sea of Fanta? <laughs> Yep, there is a, even a men mention of the imaginary tree. Also, don't worry, age hasn't played impact there, so she doesn't know what a sea of quanta or the imaginary tree is. Yeah, I have no idea what you guys are saying. <laughs> even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that she encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme, 
She calls it meme. <laughs> How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Well, I kind of understand the family's motivations because, you know, this is their entire planet, right? <laughs> Well, their fault that, you know, that the dream is kind of sinking. <laughs> They're just trying to uphold stuff. Obviously, if it becomes unsafe, then yeah, they're responsible. Which I guess it is kind of becoming unsafe, which is the main issue here. Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm, let me rephrase then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. <laughs> and the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. Aesthetics? I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? See, my personal pursuit, is, I also have a personal pursuit in aesthetics. That is why I always summon <laughs> for characters based on how much I like them rather than whether I need them or not. <laughs> Pure simpage <laughs> is the way to go. <laughs> Do I need DPS's? Nah, nah, no DPS. I don't really need. Uh, wait, do I need DPS's? Not really, but. Hey, listen, listen. DPS's bring me joy. So, <laughs> full team of DPS's, it's fine as long as I like all the characters. <laughs> as for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential as well as in the unique. Splendor you will unleash on the stage. The stage. So it is going to all come down to one big final play. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. She's so sus. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Like, I feel like Black Swan has good intentions, but she is still very suspicious. <laughs> I think just everyone in Penacone is really sus. <laughs> I can't trust anyone, even though she saved us, and it seems like she's being pretty genuine. And she's just trying to, you know, I don't feel like her intentions seem malicious. But the way everyone acts here is still very... Interesting. I think Black Swan's agenda is probably not as bad as some of the others, though. <laughs> I think some people's others' agendas are quite a bit more morally questionable. <laughs> but hopefully they reveal the stuff later. I'm crying, we came to party, yeah! We came to have a nice relaxing vacation and... Of course shit hit the fan, as per usual. It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. Yeah, that's everyone on this stupid planet, actually. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes. Oh, could it be Duke Inferno and his gang trying to stir up trouble? Because they did want Penacone to suffer and fall, right? So maybe Duke Inferno's plan was to make, was to do something to cause Penacone to fall into the the water abyss in Star Rail. <laughs> then it likely has something to do with the Watchmaker's invite. Huh? How'd you figure that one out? Someone's trying to help us get to the bottom of things. Well, excluding any extreme scenarios. The mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family, which narrows it down to two possibilities. Duke Inferno and his anarchist gang? Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Mm -hmm. 
either that or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. Oh. So maybe maybe the family got is trying to get the IPC to help out because that's why uh Sunday was talking to Aventurine before and then Aventurine was saying how this is also in the family's best interests to have a partnership with the IPC because the IPC has a lot of power, right? So the IPC doesn't want the Penacone to disappear because the IPC wants to take control of it. So I think the family is trying to get IPC to help. I'm not sure if they also sent the invite to the Astral Express crew. There, because once again, there might be like different parties at play here, but I think that could possibly be one of the scenarios. But from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, so I guess the family is trying to get help from the IPC, but then the invites themselves are actually from the third party that is trying to destroy Penacone. Interesting. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Maybe even the same person. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Uh, hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? Wait, I thought the fools and the Riddlers were the same people. Because <laughs> I know the fools are Sparkle and company, then who are the Riddlers? Huh. <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But... If Interesting. this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. <laughs> like from Batman? That's my, that was my first thought, too. <laughs> well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry. Uh-oh. It's bad news. Well found some research. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall silver-armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many silver of those armored? guests who claim to have seen this invader. Is the Silver Armored Man referring to Sam or Argenti? I don't think it's Argenti. I think Argenti is gold. So I think this might refer to Sam from the Stellaron Hunters. And this is what I received. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look. Ahem. Oh. <laughs> hey, Astral Express, it's been a while. Penicone. The troll. It's it's that hacker girl. Silver Wolf. Mark, you don't know her name? I'll get straight to the point. I know you've been investigating the abnormal phenomenon surrounding Penicone. Or rather, we are pleased to see that you've been doing that. Because the deeper you delve, the closer you'll get to uncovering the truth about the so-called beautiful dream. The family is obviously hiding something, right? Well, we've nabbed some valuable information and out of the goodness of my heart, I've decided to share it with all of you. Yeah, out of the goodness of your heart, eh? Totally because you don't want us to help you resolve the issues. <laughs> no ulterior motives here. None, none whatsoever. The device you used to dream with and dive into the hidden map for a look. The coordinates have been sent to you. You just have to copy them over. Also, I take it you've already heard about Sam. <laughs> you should look Oh, she's him. mentioning Sam. He's a straight shooter who values a fair fight. <laughs> I think you'll get along with him just fine. Don't be overwhelmed by his enthusiasm. Silver Wolf's like he is a straight stickler. I, on the other hand, rules were made to be broken. <laughs> Just like Stell. Oh, he had me relay a message to you. <clears throat> the curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. <sighs> the various factions have started to move. I wish you luck. Don't fall behind, nameless. Okay, but this is what Silver Wolf said. The curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. Okay, so she's referring to... This message is referring to the dream that we fell into because it was hidden before, but now because the curtains have been opened, that means that it is now being exposed to everyone. 
I think that's Those what's going Deleron on here. Those hunters, they even factored Panacone into their plan. Nowhere safe from them. The situation is clear. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. So it's a free-for-all. Guys, it's a battle royale on Pentacone. <laughs> we actually have everyone is on their own separate team trying to get this, uh, get the winner winner chicken dick di Winner winner chicken dinner, which is the Watchmaker's legacy. And then all the different factions, all the different families, all of the different parties, everyone is fighting to go get it. <laughs> While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. Yeah, I mean, it's. I feel like it's already starting to kind of ensnare innocent bystanders, right? Because there's been more people falling into that weird dream thing they mentioned before. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered Iron, because he has silver he armor. superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. But is he just as hot? Now that is the question that needs to be answered. Is he just as sexy as the other two? This message <laughs> is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed dreamscape hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a visit seems necessary. Yes, he is. He's hotter, really? So he takes off the armor? Because I think we've only seen him with inside his armor so far, so... <laughs> Should we inform the family? What if we get found? This could be a stellar hunter's trap. If the family asks, just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron hunters. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Walt is talking about a must-pull. Oh my gosh, is everyone down bad for Sam? <laughs> Oh yeah, he's super hot annoyingly so? Oh my gosh, wow, he's molten hot? <laughs> Wait, how have I avoided how Sam's looks this entire time? <laughs> Wait, I'm excited, I'm excited to see. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. Guys, I don't need another character to pull for. I have enough. Miss Black Swan. The Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. We are standing very close to her. <laughs> I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. The way she talks is so seductive, even when she's just speaking normally. <laughs> you two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, We'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. Oh? I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. I assume Ooh. there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? Okay, Welt will play protective grandfather. Let's go. It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. It's no problem, of course. Other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. Hey, listen, Black Swan, everyone on this planet is crazy sus, okay? <laughs> you are no exception, so don't take it personally. It's not you. It's just everyone here in general. <laughs> We're just taking the proper precautions to make sure that we don't get murdered in our sleep. <laughs> We're counting on you, Welt. As for us, let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. We'll be busy for a while. I wonder if Firefly's returned to reality yet. Yeah, I want to see Firefly! Mm. I don't have her contact info. I'll ask Black Swan. I miss her. I miss Bestie. You look anxious. You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Is that right? And you confirm Firefly is safe? Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. 
Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream, which isn't possible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel massaging her eyes right now. I still think Firefly doesn't... I mean, okay, no. They said that she... Because remember, I thought Firefly doesn't exist outside of the dreamscape. But she revealed that it's actually because her body is deteriorating. But what if her body has already deteriorated, so she's already stuck in the dreamscape forever? Alright. Drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. All I'm saying is I think it's a bit sus that we've never met Firefly in reality. Okay? That's all I'm saying. I guess we also haven't met Sparkle and stuff, but... You know, she's the antagonist, so it's different. Someone who's our friend, I feel like we would meet in the real world. Welcome it's suspicious. to Pinaconi, honored guest. Lie down? Okay. Are we hopping back in, guys? Here we go. We're going off the deep end. Well, the galaxy is a big place. Yeah, I guess the hotel is very large, but still. Wouldn't we actively want to find each other since we're friends? Maybe it's too busy, though. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, falling back into the water. Back in this familiar room. This way, darling. Darling? Oh, so this time we don't go into the portrait. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Are we? I feel- I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> I won't stand for this Firefly slander. No, I love Firefly. I love Firefly. I just, I don't think, well, there's still, I think there's still part of the truth that she's hiding from us, remember? She did say and even admit herself, right? I just want her to be happy. So it's very bad if the dream is collapsing, right? If Firefly can only exist in the dream? I mean, I guess that's my, that's just my theory, though. We'll see the semantics of it in a little bit. I know you're more sensitive to Memoria, thus more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. <gasps> oh, she's here to protect us! I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. Okay, so she can... I guess she can channel... <laughs> channel... it's like a GPS. <laughs> They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. Okay, okay. Marge's room is this way. I should go meet up with her. Okay, this is sus, but let us go out. Wait, she used all 20k credits, Adrian Harless? It was an accident! She gave me all the money and I thought that I was supposed to use it all, okay? <laughs> How was I to know that that is not the case? <laughs> My bad, alright, I acknowledge. <laughs> oh, what is this? Lying on the ground? Is that a monster? Your memories tell you this is March 7th's room. Unless fate intervenes, she will awaken here. March, are you there? You knock, but there's no response. Please, no spoilers. Yes, yes, guys, please don't, don't say any spoilers. <laughs> we want to experience it firsthand. And are you in there? We are about to set off. You knock again, but there's no response. March? It's me, Age. You knock harder, and there's still no response. Hey, Black Swan, is everything okay here? Where are my companions? I know what you're thinking, but alas. That girl isn't oh. in there, and neither is this her room. Oh, I guess the layouts change in the dreamscape? The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. Interesting. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. Okay. Will this These monster poor wake up? Things stumbling about. Oh Strange. no, it's dead. There appears to be someone else's presence here. Any guesses as to who? I think it's Aventurine. I'm not coping because I want to see him, okay? I think Aventurine's here. Her? How is this possible? Never mind. Wait. Is that Acheron? 
Oh my god, it's my wife. Are there <gasps> no staff members here? It is. Here at all? It's my. It's our future girlfriend, guys. <laughs> huh? What are you doing here? Well, oh. not really. I just don't know where I am. You lost your way again. <laughs> she never knows where she is. She's well, actually Zoro. short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? Guys, we're on a team with Acheron and Black Swan. It's both of the purple mommies. <laughs> our wife? Yes. <laughs> she is our wife. Our future, our future wife. I'm indebted to you both for your help. Oh, we can't auto it. Black Swan will assist in battle for the next part of the journey. Lend there we go. My wife is Firefly. No, Firefly is my girlfriend and Acheron's my wife. We are in a poly relationship. <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. What are the two of you doing here? <laughs> we could ask you the same thing. When they give her a Zoro skin? Oh, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> I mean, they would have to... It's like when you would have to change the colors a bit, though. <laughs> Make a green Acheron. Since I finished this all yesterday, I like watching people's reaction to what's to come. I'm excited to see. It's a long story. Oh, the red text again. I guys. fortuitously, as she should remember, became friends with some of the bloodhounds and was helping them track down a wanted criminal. Except I ended up here for some reason. I still don't know what this red text means, but it's so ominous. <laughs> you aren't hiding anything, are you? Hiding? I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. <laughs> That's true. How about in front of me? That's not what I meant. It's just a figure of speech. Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I can protect you from harm, but in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. Our bodyguard. And if we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain <gasps> the situation. Hmm. What do you think? I want her by my side forever. Hell yeah. Never hurts to have more people. No, absolutely not. No. Thank Stay you. with us. Stay with I'm us, girl. Grateful. I love you. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. I want your hand in marriage. Come on. Mm. I truly hope so. This is our bonding experience. This is our date in the memory zone, okay? <laughs> Black Swan's third wheelie a little bit, but that's fine. Wait, I wanted to collect this. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I saw it just now. But when the ball here on the left floats down, it kind of looks like the Wubba Woos. See? <laughs> it looks like a water Wubba Woo a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me get this treasure, and let's move on. All those doors are red, so let's go upstairs, I guess. Oh, there's a puzzle here. We'll do these later. Do, 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 do. <sighs> this room. Why is it upside down? Time to mess with my head even more. Let's not get motion sick today, guys, okay? <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, I think the red text is a reference from Honkai Impact the Third. Oh, interesting. I hope they explain it in Star Rail too. The memory zone is constantly shifting its form. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. Don't worry, we already got the tutorial for that. We're standing on the ceiling right now. Miss Acheron's words speak sense. <laughs> Regardless, we have to reach that flat surface hanging overhead. And we're not scaling the pillar, of course. Why not? If it was Genshin, we'd be able to. <laughs> I'll teach everyone some traversal tricks used in the memory zone. Yeah, then maybe we'll have the, you know, you know, Lisa's climbing animation in Genshin in the Japanese voice <laughs> and how it sounds really, really sus. <laughs> I just imagined that in Star Rail because we also have the two purple mommies here too, as well. <laughs> Because Lisa's the Genshin purple mom. How about it? Can you feel the memoria flowing around? Ayo, ayo. 
Next, find a suitable spot and try walking up the wall. Oh, we already got the tutorial though. Okay, let's go. Lend me your strength. I want Black Swan ASMR. Yeah, that would be. Do her voice is so so Crush soothing. <laughs> I could listen to her talk for hours, actually. Oh, so your choice for Akron actually matters? Oh, really? I love. I want to have Akron with me at all times. I love her. <laughs> Why would I not want her to be with me by my side? Lend me your strength. <laughs> On my playthrough, she is pretending to be lost. Flame. Oh, interesting. I think she's actually lost here. That's pretty cool though, if it has multiple Do not different uh, yourself with the outcome. outcomes based on the options you pick. You really can walk up walls. Oh, there's another path over the there. The memory zone of this level is mere child's play to a memo keeper. Come on, let's head out through the front door. Is there anything else in this room that I need? All right, we're outie. This is a dead end. You're a natural, aren't you? You're a prodigy at remembrance. <gasps> Wait, there's a chest here! I want it! Okay, let's get on the wall. The music changing when you get to the wall is really cool. Oh, I didn't even notice! <laughs> That's fun though. Okay, so we unlocked the pathway back here. I think it's a checkpoint. Oh, this is a suspicious door. Oh, wow. Okay, the trippy hallways. I think we're entering... Stuff that is more fragmented now. Oh boy. We've arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. So we can't go this way, can but we? Oh, we can. The memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted. Oh. Be careful, everyone. We unlocked the next cavern. Very nice. All right, let's go. Oh. Elevator. Let's go to the lobby. Let's see what's there. Totally won't be all messed up, right? Not at all? Not see, at all? I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? The door is red, so we can't go through. <sighs> this door is locked too. Why don't we bust it down with our fists, Jermaine style? <laughs> By the way, do you think Misha is also suspicious? Mm hmm I mean, I have some theories about Misha, but no one seemed to be directly interacting with Misha. Well, I mean, Misha just like showed up for one scene and then never appeared again. <laughs> this door is locked. There's no end to this. Let me try. Hmm. You see the memo keeper close her eyes. She is searching the room in an almost telepathic way, even every nook and cranny outside the room. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant an method. An elegant method? So you two, please give me a little time. Does that mean she's going to bust it down with violence instead of using her cool powers? Hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape. And there are members of the family. And some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. Oh no! Oh, One, Firefly! Two, wait. Three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Wait. It's the girl who was with you. Why is she so surprised? Firefly, what's she doing here? You said she already returned to reality. It eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone, mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? Guys, Firefly is not beating the only exists in the memory. <laughs> only exists in the dreamscape allegations. <laughs> it's so, like, the circumstance around her is so sus right now. She... is she running? No. Running <gasps> oh no! Away. Something's right behind her. We have to go save her! This is not good. Everyone, we must hurry. Guys. We have to help her. Oh, is this a puzzle? These There's creepy no guys. Time. I'll just have to break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. Um... I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. These will help you form an impression of her. Won't give up? Now, you must hang on to these thoughts with all your might. 
and shape them in your mind. Wait. I caught some very familiar memories just Wait, now. Wait, guys. She's not the only old friend who has appeared here. There was also a third party at the scene when you ran into danger. Wait, guys. That memory zone. Remember? Room, it is here as well. Do you remember when we were hearing the voices earlier? There was a, a girl's voice and a boy's voice. What if the boys, the Mikhail, one of the boys' voice was Mikhail, who I think might be Misha, and then there was a female voice who we don't know who she was, but I was assuming it was like maybe Mi Mikhail's caretaker or mother or something. What if that female voice was actually Firefly? Because this is this is a this is a parallel. There might be a correlation. Oh, okay. We'll find out. Well, she did say she was after the legacy. Okay, what is this? Reem Jigsaw. Hurry, through here. Okay. Wait, that's where we came from, right? I think so. Okay, okay, let's move forward. Mm -mm -mm. Mikhail, where are you? Yeah, yeah. I think I think the voice is actually pretty similar because I couldn't pinpoint it before. But I think with what they showed us just now, especially after it being fire, they showing us Firefly running from something. Maybe Firefly is actually the one who was with Mikhail, so Firefly knows the truth of the world, or she, so she's actually from Panacone, or maybe she was. Is this like a human experimentation kind of kind of angle? They get a bunch of orphans, experiment on them, use them to power Panacone, use their dream and a powerful dream to power all of this uh, this entire area. <laughs> Obviously, it's very immoral. So then maybe uh, <laughs> Firefly and Mikhail were both from this this institution. <laughs> this is very. Uh, I guess this that's. That's a very, I guess, uh, typical kind of plot. <laughs> but maybe it could be something similar to this. She's cooking? I am cooking. I think I think it might be a, a orphans taken in to be experimented on and are now powering Penacone type angle. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at the moment. And Firefly and Mikhail, uh, Mikhail tentatively Misha, are two of those orphans. After we fight Nanook, the IPC better be our next antagonist. <laughs> Imagine. We gotta fight the IRS guys. <laughs> fight the tax. <laughs> the gate shuts. Your thoughts stirred by the swirling current and pulled along, descend into a deep abyss, sinking. When the hatch opens again, what sights will you behold? Perhaps no one can provide an answer. An indescribable fluid. Darkness flows from your chest to your throat. Suffocation engulfs you from within. Then, a voice emerges. In my dream, Firefly. I scorched earth, and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun, and whispered to me. Oh <gasps> wait, is Firefly's dream referring to Penacone? Is Firefly trying to destroy Penacone? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Her dream sounds like a premonition. Is is uh, wait, is Firefly the sus one? <laughs> no, I don't want to slander her. I love her, but <laughs> this is all very su suspect. <laughs> Why do people choose to sleep? I think the final sigh escapes, its origin unknown. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Intriguing. Evil Firefly confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plot twist. Firefly was the big bad all along. Duke Inferno who? Uh, Sparkle who? Nah. Family who? Nope. It was Firefly. <laughs> the person we went on a date with. <laughs> Age was <laughs> cooking, then she burnt the kitchen. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Everything, everything is suspicious. <laughs> anything could possible. Anything is possible. It's a dream after all. <laughs> Watch out! A dangerous oh? presence lurks nearby. Everyone, 
Be on Birdies! Your oh my gosh, wait, I missed all of the birds before here. Okay, lobby! I mean, it looks pretty normal. That looks like a portal over there. I don't know what that looks like in normal... In the normal world, but... Everything seems pretty normal so far. Is that Firefly? Okay, wait, that's Firefly in the distance. Oh. Oh? Oh, it is Firefly! Oh! Wait, no, Firefly, I'm sorry! I'm sorry for the slander! She looks so happy to greet us! Oh! Oh no, did it just snatch her? What? Wait, what? Did they just stab her? Sorry. There's no way they killed her, right? We're not even at the end. Wait, she just became goop. What the fuck? Bitch? Wait, is she dead yet? There's no way, right? You... Right? You all right? It's just a dream. We're just in a dream. It's just a dream. She's fine. But wait, if my theory of her existing only in the dream is right, that means she's dead dead. For good. Because if she doesn't exist in reality... No, okay. Guys, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. My theory is wrong. 100%. No, 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 no. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She just can't enter the dream anymore. She just has to, you know, live live a very tragic life, all obviously outside, outside of the dream because she can't move her body or anything like that. And that's fine because as long as she's alive, you know? You know, you know? Did that just happen? Is she actually gone gone? <laughs> but like, they didn't really leave it much room for interpretation. It stabbed her. Not once. But twice. <laughs> and then she turned into goop. <laughs> According to my rules of on-screen deaths that was as cookie cutter as it gets <laughs> she died and dissolved into goop on screen Which one of you? Which one of- I saw this message just now. I didn't want- I couldn't- I couldn't acknowledge it. Which one of you people in chat just said clean up in the lobby? <laughs> that is disrespectful. That is foul. How could you? No. Too soon, bro. Too soon. It hasn't even been 10 seconds. Come on. Use me, shut You guys, that is that is disgusting behavior. <laughs> How could you disrespect her like this? <laughs> Wait, is she actually dead? There's no way, right? We're not even at the end of the story yet. <laughs> like there were flags, okay? There were flags for Firefly. So I I felt like, you know. There was a chance that she might die, especially given that she disappears in the in the MV. But we aren't even at the end. <laughs> We're just in the middle of this random ass dream. Hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a mess. No wonder Misha slipped in his burst. <laughs> you guys are so disrespectful. <laughs> she just passed away. <laughs> <laughs> she just passed away. A moment of silence, please. <laughs> no one is safe ever? We... Uh, 
<laughs> We're not even at the end. She is a firefly. They don't live long. I can't believe you guys. I can't believe you guys would slander her like this. Her corpse is not even cold yet, okay? And you are sitting here. Though she is still on the ground. And you guys are sitting here making fun of her. That is messed up. That is so f <laughs> Don't worry guys, Mihoyo said it's gonna be wholesome stories. Is she dead? I don't know. I feel like... I am very convinced in my theory of her only existing in this dream world. But going by that theory... This is a permanent death. This is the first time I have wanted to be wrong so bad. <laughs> the only salvation here is if my theory is incorrect, then she is still alive in the real world. But all of my instincts are telling me that that is not true. No. Unless they confirm it. Unless they confirm it, it's not true. Unless they say, yeah, she's gone for good, or explain what just happened. Not happening, not happening. Ah, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to believe it. She'll come back. They'll explain her. There's no way. There's no way this is our last interaction with Firefly ever. Like, they didn't explain anything at all. We don't even know who she is yet. We don't know what, what, what she's done, where, what her motives were, anything like that. They just literally, we didn't even get to reunite with her. Like, it's so random. We just came to the lobby and then they stabbed her. Twice. <laughs> Bad storytelling, bad storytelling. They haven't explained shit. <laughs> Storyline happy and peaceful enough yet, need more. <laughs> oh god, how could it possibly get worse though, guys? Like, they just killed off the girl that we went on a really, really wholesome, sad date with, okay? Like, who else are they gonna kill? Acheron? <laughs> are they just gonna go down the list, kill off every character in Pentacony? Like, I don't know how we could possibly get sadder, okay? We'll see. Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. All no right? shot. There's no shot. There's no shot. I refuse to believe it. Oh, allow me. Relax. You'll be fine. I'm sorry, Black Swan. I didn't mean to cut you off. That was an accident. Oh, Stella's so sad. Don't worry, I'm fine. That was too sudden. Yeah, I agree. That was way too sudden. We just arrived and then the bit yeeted himself into existence, stabbed her, and then left. Dude, the monster didn't even like come for an extended fight. It literally appeared, killed our best friend, and then disappeared. He literally did a hit and run. <laughs> what the f <laughs> That is so messed up. And you guys know, I also just slandered her too right before this. I slandered her and said that one of Fireflies the bad guy lost. I guys, it's my fault. It's my fault that she died. I did this. If I didn't slander her and say that she was the villain. No. It's all my fault, guys. I can't believe I've done this. I caused Hoyoverse to kill her character like that. That's so messed up. Firefly is alive, truther? I mean, I am a Tingyun is alive, truther, but they didn't turn Tingyun into goop on my screen. So I feel like the circumstances are a little different here. That bug better count his days? Yeah, next time I see that idiot, <laughs> it's getting pulverized into a different kind of goop. That's all I'm saying. 
I have a lot of proof, hear me out. <laughs> I'll hear you out later, later. You blamed her as the evil guy? No, I didn't blame her, okay? I said, what if she is the evil guy? And then, and then they f killed her. It's actually, I actually did this. I willed it into existence. This is horrible. This is horrible news. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day has been ruined. <laughs> want to hear a joke? No, I don't, Haruko. I don't want to hear a joke. Firefly, now it flew. <laughs> Guys, she's fly- she, she fl she's flying free, finally. <laughs> what happened to Firefly, the person went and hanged out with- Yeah, wait, that's true. Why is it that everyone that we hang out with ends up suffering a very painful thing. Like when we went to the Lafu, we hung out with Ting Yun and then she got yeeted. I still think Ting Yun's alive, but she did get yeeted, okay? And stabbed or like neck snapped. Now we hang out with Firefly and Penacony. She gets stabbed twice in the chest and turns into goop. Are we cursed? This Stellaron doesn't affect us. But what if the Stellaron affects the people around us, huh? <laughs> what if it makes us go through a lot of emotional turmoil? <laughs> In very cursed ways. Unlucky. Okay, but what else? Like I said, what else could they possibly give us to make it sadder now, though? They literally killed off the character that we had the most emotional connection with in Pentagoni. So... Aren't we done here? We move on? Okay. Maybe we save the world, but it's like, whatever, I guess. We do that all the time. What else is new? What's the point? What's the point? We lost our best friend. They're gonna kill Himiko next, I bet. I don't think so. There's no way. There's no way they kill two major characters in the same plotline. Zero chance. I don't believe it. You're really going through the five stages of <laughs> Did I? I feel like I only went through two. There was the denial and then there's the acceptance. <laughs> uh, keep going. All right, I'll keep going. That was too sudden. I agree. So now what? Now what are we gonna do? I'm really sorry, but huh? I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about, and I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March 7th's safety, and warn them. So Black Swan comes with us, sees our bestie die, and then is like, okay, yeah, so I have to go now. Sorry for the, sorry for the quick departure, but you know, it's okay, I'm gonna go protect your other friends. Guys, Himiko will be fine, because Black Swan's going to go protect her, okay? I'll leave her to you, Miss Acheron. Mommy plus mommy equals MILF. Wait. That's not how that works. I'm sorry for what happened. I was too focused on that girl and- Wait. Got sloppy. That makes no sense. Ignore me. I'm spouting nonsense. <laughs> By the way, do you like Sunday Robin? Yeah, yeah! I don't really have many feelings about Sunday, but I love Robin. I still- I do think Robin is kind of weird, because obviously they made her voice sound different with the robotic stuff earlier, so we still- I feel like there's someone maybe pretending to be Robin. But I do like them too. Sunday is so much swagger. <laughs> yeah, he seems pretty fun. Mommy was- <laughs> Don't quote me! Don't quote me! That made no sense! Robin just uses auto-tune? <laughs> yeah, she has auto-tune permanently turned on in the tree. That's why, that's why she's such a good singer, guys. <laughs> that's the trick to become the galaxy's best. Just have permanent auto-tune on your voice. Easy peasy. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I keep taking myself out of this moment because I don't want to believe our life. <laughs> okay, let's move on, let's move on. It's it fine. was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You didn't even draw your blade. Why? 
Oh my god, are we blaming her now? <sighs> oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel bad, Acheron. It's not your fault. That stupid monster sorry, has no chill. I... I had no choice. Wait, what? What does she mean he has, she has no choice? She couldn't draw her blade? I thought she just couldn't draw it fast enough. What is this about a choice? She chose not to draw her blade for some reason? Hmm? Is that what this means? The priority is figuring out what happened. Okay, I'm gonna stop gas- I'm just gonna start- yes, stop guilt tripping her. <laughs> but not yet. Before the hunt, we should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding and how to fight them. I may be grieving, but I don't want to guilt trip Acheron. I'm sure she feels bad about not being able to save her as well. Uh, imagine in the next pass they make Himiko take a picture with us. Okay, but here's the thing. We take pictures with March all the time and March is still alive, so... The picture theory doesn't fully, doesn't fully work because there are some exceptions. It's not 100%. Do not let pain dictate your thoughts. Compose yourself and you will walk the right path. Once, someone said to me, No compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. Bro, isn't it that monster that just murdered our friend? <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty big enemy. <laughs> and then, with one swing of your blade, you must understand its meaning. And the price you pay. This is the only advice I have for you. From someone burdened with a blood debt. Oh, she's back? I'm back. Whoa, she was so fast. What? I thought she was going to be gone for like the rest of the time. <laughs> she returns so swiftly. Miss Himiko has something to tell you. There's good news and bad news. Bad news first. Give me the bad news first. I'd rather hear the bad and then the good. Because the good will leave the better impression at the end. The memo keeper hands over a memory bubble, signaling for you to press it against your forehead. You do as instructed and a bone-chilling coldness pierces your body, which then consolidates into a clear image. Oh no, this can't be anything good. You see Himiko and March 7th together, obstructed by the family. Black Swan stands beside them, unnoticed by the family. I understand the situation now. Please take her and retreat to a safe location. If time allows, you can investigate Firefly's ah. matter first. Meet later at Clocky Statue. Oh, so these people can't see Black Swan? Can Black Swan, I guess, only appear to people that she wants to appear to? Oh no, never mind. The reason Black Swan isn't seen here because she's not actually physically there. She's just channeling using her powers to speak to them. She was actually near us. Okay, okay. I think that's what's actually happening here. <laughs> Memories and the bubbles come to an end here. Which is why I must undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. I'm glad to see that you're fine. Let us reach a safe place before speaking again. Wait, so what was the point of us coming in here? <laughs> Miss Black Swan, do you not intend to open some sort of teleporter? I thought we came into here, here to investigate stuff, but then all we got was witnessing our friend die. <laughs> Getting so we just got some trauma instead. And no answers for anything. <laughs> mm, I don't recommend that. Her mental state is unstable so we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now what do you mean my mental state's always unstable okay this <laughs> is nothing out of the ordinary show us the portal whatever's easiest also while we're departing we can still do more for miss firefly can't we some remnants of her presence linger nearby seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance before they're gone so this is confirmation that she's dead dead. If we can start investigating on the way, that'd be good. What Black Swan said just right there, I think is confirmation that she's gone so forever. Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? And I think that also confirms my theory that she only exists in the dream. 
Because otherwise, can't she just wake up if she dies in the dream? Unless this is one of those uh, sort of online situations where if you die in the game, you also die IRL. <laughs> I um, have some unfinished business. Acheron sussy? You watch as Acheron turns away. You remember that it was there that she dissolved into a mere illusion. You see her pause, lips pursed, eyes downcast. After a moment, she hunches down, as if gathering something with her hands, and rises again. No, it's not- it's the song! They're playing the song! Guys! May death be the end of your boundless dream. Does Akira know Firefly? <laughs> or is she just doing this as like a memorial thing? Because what it kind of feels like, it feels like Akira is missing memories all along. That's what it has the, I guess, aura that she has given off is that she is part of something like bigger that's happening, but she doesn't remember. That's why she's always asking us these questions about what we think and stuff from the past. Do they know each other? Guiding you back to the waking world. So can Firefly go back to the waking world? <laughs> Is she dead or not, guys? I can't tell. <laughs> Let's go. I think she is because they this played the way. song. Follow me. They played the really sad music, and I feel like they wouldn't have done that if it wasn't factual. Because they're trying to make us cry here, right? Go back, go back. Is it too late? I hope that didn't reset it. Investigate. Half-faded cell phone lies on the floor, capturing an unsent message with a snapshot of two people wearing smiles. You pick it up. The cell phone has completely dissipated into a dream bubble. Emotional damage <clears throat> is an understatement. Uh... So she's dead, okay? She's confirmed to be dead, basically, right? Is that what is that what we're being told here? Black Swan said that she's gone. We got even a memory bubble of her. She's gone from this universe. She's deceased, never to return. We shall take back what we lost. What's going okay, on? Okay, okay, good, good, good. Why is it getting hot in the memoria? Getting hot, cause you're here. You've noticed it too. Like something is burning. Mr. Ifrit has arrived, Mr. Duke. Mr. Inferno. The moon shines on the truth. There's a puzzle there. Let's go. These are all charred remains. They're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. Well, I guess I we're about, we about to go meet the now, then. the crazy destruction dude. Um, investigate. The remains of this creature bears narrow and deep incisions, with evident traces of charring inflicted by intense burning. A few sparks dance and flicker within, resembling shattered stars departing towards Eon of Nihility. Four? The Eon of Nihility is called Four? Looks like this monster was slain by a thermic weapon. A thermic weapon? 
Such fancy words. <laughs> Duke? Yeah, I mean, they said fire. The only person I can think of right now is the Duke Inferno. <laughs> uh, I'm on the opposite theory cam. I think Tinyun completely dead while Firefly is still alive because of how hard the game is telling us she is dead. See? Yeah, I think I'm the opposite. I think Firefly, because I mean, like I said, I have my own theory that Firefly only exists in this realm. So in order, because I believe that theory pretty well, <laughs> I feel like the only explanation is that Firefly is dead here. But <laughs> we won't know until they tell us for sure, right? IX is, oh true, sorry, V is five. <laughs> His name is nine, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> I think it's Hook. Oh god, guys, Hook came here and started stirring up trouble. No! We gotta put Hook in detention. <laughs> She's grounded. I'm glad Age witnessed Firefly die. <laughs> Miss, you're so mean to me. <laughs> Remains of this creature pierced by an unknown weapon reveal inner tissues that have been seemingly evaporated rapidly due to intense heat. You cannot approach any closer. The steam escaping from the shattered body would undoubtedly scorch you. Looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. Yep, lots of fire. The surface of this creature's remains appear unremarkable. Yet, as your hand grazes it, the searing heat transfer to your fingertips sends you jolting back, as if struck by an electric shock. Electric shock. <laughs> Anyone know the FX song? Sorry, yeah, that's my inner K-pop stand coming out. Without a doubt, a fierce inferno rages within the remains, desperately longing to break free from its confines. For the sake of your safety, it is best to keep your distance. Something's off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just Okay, now? so yeah, I guess Duke Inferno is actually setting that nightmare upon people, which is really messed up, bro. I cannot you killed our friend. Conclusion with so few clues. I'm gonna square up. No longer do I like Duke Inferno. <clears throat> I thought he looked cool, but if he is responsible for Firefly's death, I'm about to have some words with him outside. <laughs> Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that the remembrance doesn't lie. Tisk tisk. Let him cook. No, don't let him cook. Him cooking kills people we care about. <laughs> Get this man out of the kitchen! From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. The method was clean and crisp. All one strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. Almost like he is not human. Ooh. He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do- So like where she died? If his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. That, you two this way. That place? I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Oh, oh this way. Oh, oh this is creepy. Step past me and enter the dream of chaos. Step past me and enter the immemorial void. Step past me and enter the living grave of dark. Before me, there is nothing apart from the immortal. After me, everything flowed when all evolved. What? Okay. <laughs> everything in here is <laughs> tripping Look, me the hell out. Upon leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme. The meme! But I love memes. But not this meme, because this meme killed our friend. Okay, let's this see. This is truly a magnificent oh. sight. It's, it's this room, then. It's the grand dining hall. Yes. More precisely, it's right below. Right below? It doesn't look like there's a way down. Are you going to teach me to phase through walls now? You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers. 
but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. Oh? It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next, we want to create some reasonably oh, she strong. wants to she wants to drop the chandelier and destroy the floor. You know what? I I love me some destruction too, okay? Still remember I'm down. I sounds like a sounds like a good Feel the flow Sounds the like memoria. a good time. <laughs> Walk up the wall and then get close to it. Okay. Uh okay, there's that guy. Why are there so many dudes? I mean, should be fine. The moon shines on the truth. Yeah, that's right. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you right now. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Look, a solitary chain. How convenient. Okay. Here we go. Damn. Oh my gosh. Wait, water. Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Is it safe to jump down that? Doesn't seem like it is. <laughs> but... <laughs> if Black Swan is saying that it's, it is fine, then... You know what, I'll believe her. She knows more than we do, clearly. <laughs> Are we... jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice, soft landing. Trust Black Swan with your life? I actually do, though, because she clearly knows more than we do <laughs> in this entire situation, so... You know what? I trust the person who has the most knowledge. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We landed safely. Whoa. This is... She just teleported amazing. us down here. Okay, the TV scenes are back. All of these televisions, very creepy. I feel like the ring is gonna happen. <laughs> Sadako is just gonna crawl out of the television towards us <laughs> with all the static. Don't imitate the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well, wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? Oh, what? Straight into a battle? Well. Blade of Moonlight. Dude, this battle music slaps. Existence is unity. <laughs> it's so good. It has a really nice groove to it. <laughs> Did I just see 4K damage on an alt? <laughs> Did you? I wasn't looking at the numbers. <laughs> Did I crit? To guard and defend. Crush them. Mm -mm. <laughs> and which province? What province oh, about what? Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? Hello, Black Swan. Are you What's ready? <laughs> Don't be too surprised. What are you gonna tell us? Is that? Oh. Firefly. Oh. Yes, it's what this room left behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. What is she doing here? Was she monitoring everyone? As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. Okay. Thing I encountered with my trailblazer friend back then. If I'm not wrong, it has to do with the watchmaker. She mentioned your name. Thanks, Akaron. I know she did, and it hurts even more! <laughs> Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. Why? Why do you have to rub it in, Black Swan, huh? Huh? I'm already suffering. Come on. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone, and it's related to the watchmaker. Who? Who is she sharing it with? Who is the other person here? She has no idea that she'll become a victim. I mean, most people don't. If I can try again... Oh? She stares at the screens. Is she... looking at herself in the mirror? What does she mean by try again? Try again? Like...
Is there time shenanigans here? Usually whenever I hear try again in stories like this, I always assume that someone went back in time to try... Kind of like, you know, retry the thing that they're trying to accomplish. Is this a time story? Let's get going. Let's? Is there someone else? Who is she talking to? Is it Misha? Or sorry, Mikhail? Mikhail slash Misha? I, I feel like Mik uh, Mikhail and Misha are the same. <laughs> Because because of Misha's eyes, the locks, it's uh, just like Penacony as a as a place. Calm down, Firefly. Stay calm. She seems very nervous. Yes. What is making her so nervous? Well, she was getting chased by that weird dream eating thingy, which eventually caught up to her and stabbed her. So I don't blame her for being With all nervous. This in mind. Firefly and her companion, there should only be one, have entered this corridor together. Seems like you were pretty close, now I just owed her money. Hey, hey, she said it was a gift, okay? It wasn't a loan situation. <laughs> <laughs> she treated us. We don't owe oh, shit. <laughs> this isn't what we agreed on. Oh, someone betrayed her. The situation has changed and it seems that companion has deviated from the original plan. Perhaps, judging from the outcome, this is that person's true intention. Who's Firefly? Was it Misha? Why? Mecca? Oh my god, is this a Gundam situation? <laughs> Who forced her to go that way? <clears throat> and... Mecca? What an intriguing statement. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal, a tall male in silver armor. Sam? She was working with Sam and then Sam betrayed her? You bitch. You bitch. How dare you. Oh my god. Wait. I, it's Sam! Sam's an asshole! Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But why? Sam, that bastard. I knew those Celeron hunters were up to no good. How dare he? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. Sam is a robot, he might not even have one, you know, an asshole. He doesn't need one, because he is one. We don't know if he betrayed her or they got separated, but she was like... How... Mecca, why? <laughs> she was like, Sam, why? <laughs> why did you do this? They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Oh, was he using her as bait? Because basically, I'm okay. What I'm assuming is that this has to do with the nightmare monster. The nightmare monster is clearly after Firefly for some reason. Well, I think the reason is because she exists only in this dream. So maybe she's an anomaly or something like that. So it's kind of like one of those, like, oh, like, you know, trying to, it sees her as a virus or something. So then it's trying to eliminate her. And then, so then, basically, Sam has a motive that requires him to have some sort of control or do something with that nightmare creature. And then he was using Firefly as bait to try to get the nightmare creature to go where he wanted. So then he could get the thing. So then he used her as bait. And then obviously she died in the end because of the fact that, you know, the thing was after her. That is so messed up. Sam, you bastard. What the hell? How could you? I, th I think that's what's going on here. <laughs> huh. But there are others that only exist in the dream? Yeah, but maybe it's like after all of them, right? So then Firefly is one of them. So then it's, uh... 
It might be like that. If Sam becomes playable, he's a must pull for me. Wait, how are you? Why do all of you guys like Sam when he, <laughs> when he is the one who killed Firefly? I mean, I mean that's not to be confirmed yet for sure. But I feel like that might be the case. And what if Sam locks her in order to protect her? We never know. Well, what a fancy good job he did. Why wasn't he protecting her when they were outside, huh? Huh? Clearly, they're implying that Sam was the one who just came in here, I'm guessing. I'm assuming Sam could do fire stuff. Uh, and then... And then, so then clearly he was watching us. <laughs> so why didn't he go save her if he was really trying to protect her? Hmm? 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 Your theory is squashed. Do you mean... Firefly? Yes, she was the bait. This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless... Oh. He's trying to bait us. We're the fish, not the nightmare monster. It's us. There's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say... Is verifying. Is it us? Are, are we the fish? She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Tower? People? Based on these, she mentioned that this trans they might have had their eyes. Do okay. you mean there's we read something read this. Else? Well, let's see. Any path that leads down. Is pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. So she ran straight into danger. Listen, I always gotta check my corners, okay? It's Hobbit. <laughs> it's a Hobbit from Valorant. <laughs> Wait, which way am I supposed to go? It's an exit. Following this path should lead me out of this place. It's locked, bro. Unfortunately. This path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Oh, the lobby where the meme was? Yup. Yup. Here we are. Also, what is that that shit over there? She thought she had escaped, but Is that a portal? Wait, that sound did not sound like Acheron at all. She thought she had escaped, but... <sighs> Wait, why did the sigh sound like that? Did you guys hear that too? It sounds like Bill Trailblazer. Yeah. You guys heard that, right? After that, it's the end. That Everyone, was odd. Over there. It seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Is it Sam? Stellaron Hunter Sam. It is! He did this! Sam, you betrayed her and let her die! What the hell? <sighs> what is he doing? Why is he killing all these monsters? Careful. Stell doesn't give a crap. He's mad. <laughs> oh! Oh, this is from the trailer! Leave now and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Wait, his accent! You die here. <laughs> Wait, why are we fighting Sam? What? The detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. <laughs> Wait, he sounds so cool. Time to change tactics. This music? Auto is disabled? Okay. Lend me your strength. Alright. Oh There's my god, he's so tanky! <laughs> what the hell? That's messed up. Existence is unity. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Hello? Implementation. Stand down. Can I beat this or is this one of those auto loose situations? The storm. Hmm. To guard and defend. Sam's battle theme? All will be revealed. In Going pretty frame. off. Oh the cards. Okay, that was a black swan. We'll set the seas ablaze. Ow! <laughs> Bro just kicked her in the face. <laughs> oh wait, 
Wait, what's happening to my skill points? When consuming combusted skill points, the attacking ally loses HP, additionally deals a set amount of fire damage equal to 30% of the original damage. When they receive healing from other characters, the amount of HP is massively reduced. Okay, so I guess I can't use my skills, lol. I mean, I'm tanky enough for now, right? Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter, who was behind your ultimate departure. <laughs> Why is he so edgy? Holy! Execution underway. Abyss flower, blue. Listen, Sam. I don't want to be your enemy. <laughs> Bro became a meteor. <laughs> you know how, you know how, um, follows it, you know, who is the character? You know people, they summon meteors and things like that? No. S Sam said, I am going to be the missile. That is your ultimate destruction. <laughs> he looks pretty cool. But I will never forgive him. He killed Firefly. It's his fault. So I won't forgive him. I won't simp. Oh, this is risky. Okay, okay, we're fine. Oh, okay, this is risky. Oh, 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 so close. It's okay, guys, we lived, we lived. We survived. I will survive. Heal? It's not enough, though. God damn it. I'll probably have to use my other team. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay, because I have no I had no weakness break here, so Heaven search. Okay. Yeah. You should be fine. Break. Also use Waken this. World cleansing dragon. And then it's Walhua's turn and then we'll heal. And then we are chilling. Protect me, protect me. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all! Easiest fight. Easy peasy. <laughs> if that's the yeah. case. Oh what? We beat him and he gets the second phase now. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god! Akron! Okay. Pop off! Stage to them, my dear. What did she do to us? Did she just eat us into a different place? Hello? Oh, oh who's that? Aventurine? What a show. <laughs> From one sus person to another sus person? Hello? What is he well, thank doing you for here? Your efforts, memo keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. Wait, so Black Swan m led Acheron to go fight Sam? When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. Wait, so why did they want them to fight? What's happening? <laughs> These people are playing 40 chess and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Let us watch Black Swan. I know, I want to see Black Swan fight too. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. Okay, secret ending chance right here. Oh, okay. So when I get a dialogue option, do I tell me which one to pick? So if I do the secret ending here, I can still pay, I can still play the regular ending, right? You guys, you guys said? Yes? Okay. Black Swan, you. <laughs> you betrayed us. You played us all along. Are we just pawns <laughs> in your game? Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. Please do, because I have no idea what's happening. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. How so? From that galaxy ranger. Ah. Oh, so was she supposed to assassinate us? Is that <laughs> was that what her goal was? But yeah, so is so is Acheron's original objective. Because she is kind of a bounty hunter, right? So I guess maybe her original goal was to come here to kill us, assassinate us. And then now she has strayed from that plan because of what Black Swan did? Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron 
isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an huh? emanator who brings death and finality. Wait. Emanators are like the lieutenants of the eons, right? Who stir up lots of trouble? Yes? What? I, I did not see that coming. <laughs> Like, I know she's strong, but I thought she was just an OP swordswoman. <laughs> what? Wait, who's he? Wait, which he on? Well, perhaps the hunt. Or destruction. Or even finality. It doesn't matter. These paths all point to the same outcome. Oh. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Yes, I do. I fought him before. I didn't fight him before, but I saw him before. I was introduced to him in the past. Nicely done. As expected. I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. Who's? Want to summon from the Genius Society? Or was, is it Dr. Ratio? Or. <laughs> it all comes back to the Genius Society, doesn't it? You didn't hurt a space station, his little fire thing? Oh, that counts? I thought. Because I. Like, we, we fought it, but we didn't, like, really fight it, right? We just kind of. I thought we just played mind games with Willy, chased it down, and then expelled it. <laughs> but I guess that counts too. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. <laughs> In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. <laughs> So they're literally anarchists, is what I'm hearing? <laughs> Wait, so are you telling me that essentially... Uh, Duke Inferno and his gang are literally just terrorists? <laughs> they're just going around causing destruction just for no reason? Is that what they are? Remember when Acheron introduced herself? They call me Acheron the Galaxy Hunter, you may call me that. Oh, Acheron the Galaxy Ranger? Yeah, but you know, I thought that was just... A way of her speaking. But I guess she was being very careful with her words to because she wasn't lying, right? People do call her that. But obviously she was omitting some information <laughs> purposefully. White lies, right? Terrorists that want daddy's attention but never got it. <laughs> yeah, you know who did get daddy's attention though? We did. We got up close and personal upon our birth with Mr. Nanook. <laughs> I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. <laughs> and why would the Everflame Mansion decline? They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. Yeah, but I, why would they why would they invite them? <laughs> But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Acheron's here? Because Ifrit is dead. What? Wait. Duke Inferno's dead? We haven't even met the guy. Hello? What happened? <laughs> They were eliminated on their way. Huh? The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly <laughs> ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Wait! They baited us so hard! They released a whole ass trailer! 
to make us think that they were the villains of Petticoaty only for them to kill them off screen. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why they put so much effort into the trailer and designs? <laughs> No wonder they weren't playable characters! Oh! Oh, is that why in Black Swan's trailer? In Duke Inferno's card in her hand burned away because he was killed! Because Acheron killed them on their way here! Holy shit! Bro actually got soloed? Yeah, their entire squad got soloed by... <laughs> by one person. Listen, they were all silver, I guess, and then they faced one challenger and <laughs> were taken out. Holy crap. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. That is an insane situation. Hoyo Wait, the Star Rail team really put that amount of money and effort and budget into desi fully designing, voicing, and teasing this entire group of villains only for them to kill only for them to just off screen them to bait us into feeling like they were going to be the villains of Pentaconi all along <laughs> oh my god that's crazy <laughs> what Oh, the Everflame Mansion disbanded each going their separate ways. Oh, okay, wait. So... <laughs> so, basically, Acheron killed Duke Inferno, who was their Annihilation... Who was the Annihilation Gang's leader. And then the rest of the people, because their leader was killed, they were like, okay, whatever. <laughs> this shit, I'm out. <laughs> so the others, actually, are still alive. Except for Duke Inferno. So there is a chance that we will see them in the future, still. We get to see a big hat mommy, cool puppet, spirit lady, red hair girl, and then cello guy. <laughs> we still have a chance to, we still have a chance for them to appear in the future story. Not all hope is lost. Mommies are still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lorewise and Annihilation Gang are big fish in a small pond. Some deluded themselves into thinking they could assassinate. The Nihility and never heard from again after the <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sometimes that's why you have to pick fights with people your own size, right? <laughs> I have a theory. Let me cook in a bit. Let me cook. Okay, okay. Yes, Turtle, tell us your theory after we finish. Okay, interesting, interesting. Bro got no screen time. Yeah, Duke Inferno literally was shown as the big bad villain and then got off screen. <laughs> Unlucky. Maybe he should have, you know, got good. <laughs> it's a skill issue, clearly. All right, Duke Inferno got off screen. Unlucky bro, skill issue, skill dips, still skill dips, skill gap. Clearly he got carried. Uh, and I guess he faced the consequences. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? Okay, well, listen. Listen, okay? Acheron did us a favor. Because then we would have had to deal with Duke Inferno and his stupid fire stuff, so... We're chilling. It was Acheron. It doesn't rule out others. Do you have any other evidence? <laughs> Innocent until proven guilty! The galaxy Rangers come and go like <laughs> shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place oh. immediately, without looking back. And forever forsake the chance to get Guys, is this a red pill, truth. blue pill situation? Or you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Pentaconia. Okay, I'm guessing the, the secret ending is when you choose to leave. 
And then the real ending is obviously we get the truth, so then we continue the story. I need your help, so I'll wait, but not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. I can't see blue so <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Grace, if everything in Fanny and Cody's blue though. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> for lore, for lore, yes. For the secret ending, go down the stairs and walk through the front door. Leaving gives you an alternate ending like with the space station. Oh, see, I never got this alternate ending on the space station. Okay, okay, let's try this. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Okay, okay. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Can I really believe Venturine? I believe it, because the thing is, Aventurine may be sus as hell, okay? But so far, Aventurine technically has not lied to us. He has obviously kept information from us and manipulated us, but he has not told us an outright lie yet. Everything he has said has been technically the truth. Very manipulative truth, but the truth nonetheless. So I feel like here he's definitely not lying, and I can also believe it because Acheron is strong as hell. <laughs> but he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. Why would we talk to Black Swan? Black oh, Black Swan, sorry. For some reason, I thought Black Swan was like... <laughs> I thought she meant Silver Wolf. I was like, why the hell would we talk to Silver Wolf? She's literally the Celeron Hunter. She's comrades with the guy who just tried to murder us. <laughs> Okay, so are we supposed to talk to Black Swan? Or do we leave right now for the secret ending? Leave immediately? Can I though? Aventurine isn't here. You know that and so does he. You can also choose to turn around and find out what the facts are directly from his mouth. But if you insist on going forward, that signals a rejection. Leave? After careful consideration, you decline Aventurine's invitation. Without time, he simply watches as you depart. He simply watches as you depart from the memory zone without asking you to stay. Returning to reality, you reunite with your companions. After a thorough discussion, the crew decides to assist Penacone, leading to the revelation of a conspiracy orchestrated by the IPC. Oh? With the expulsion of all intentioned vi ill-intentioned visitors, the Charmony Festival proceeds smoothly. As honored guests, you partake in the joyous atmosphere filled with laughter, clinking glasses full of soul glad, and the exuberant singing and dancing of the crowd. May this moment last forever, and may you never awaken from this euphoric dream. Honkai Star Rail. Lead actor. Wait, actor? Oh, there's credits? Everyone is question mark and the sparkle is sparkle. Special thanks to Robin and Sunday. Script supervisor Alio. <laughs> That's true. The Stellaron Hunters do have their script to follow. Wait a second. Oh, it restarted my game. Okay, okay. Guys, we had our blue pill moment. It's the Charmony Festival. I just wanted to I just wanted to enjoy it, okay? <laughs> I wanted to live my life. <laughs> that's the bad ending? Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool how they give you different options, though. In case you really don't want to follow it. You beat Hawkeye Star Wars, congrats! Thank you, thank you! It feels like people change their identity in the dreams, but who knows until 2.1? Yeah, I mean, there's a reason that they did that, right? It means that no one is ever... No one is who they seem to be. The only person that we know for sure is ourselves. And then Sparkle, I guess, is the only person who is completely honest. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, actually, because she's honest because she is so chaotic. <laughs> now the Honkai ending. Okay, okay. I'm very intrigued. What could he possibly tell me that will... Will that surprise me? What if my theory is right about the whole... <laughs> Orphan, the dream, the dream is being powered by a person, like a kid or something like that. What could they possibly tell me? I feel like, I feel like I won't be that surprised. Eh, we'll see. My my, you look like a small injured animal. 
Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. You betrayed me? Can I trust a venture read? Who do you think is the mastermind? <laughs> Kitchen is burnt down. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> There's nothing cooking right now. There's nothing. Don't rub it in, Black Swan. You're cute, but not that cute. <laughs> <laughs> you betrayed me. Listen. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. But this is also a safe place. I mean, he did say that you ah! saved our life, so... I guess there's that. Like, what could they possibly tell me? He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. Uh, yep. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. Literally. Panacone, like you guys said, gives me trust issues. <laughs> I can't believe a single word that comes out of anyone's mouth. Honestly, even the Express crew. Like, I believe the Express crew more because they are my friends, but when I'm in the dream, who's to say that the express crew are truly the people I know? The most trustworthy person here is ironically Sparkle. Yeah, because she is a little bit crazy and has bad intentions, but at least she's honest about it, right? <laughs> like, I guess she did kind of lie to us because she pretended to be Sampo, but still, at least we know Sparkle is Sparkle from the credits. So, there's the lore. I feel like she's just here to screw around. Isn't that just the entire motive of the Masked Fools, though? To stir up trouble? <laughs> Sparkle said she's not playing the game, so yeah. That's true. Sparkle is the only one with a no question mark. Yeah! So even though she was a bit dishonest, at least we know her identity. She is actually who she says she is. I play the story on Japanese and eventually this story has the NTR guy on it. Loki, what the f <laughs> That is wild. <laughs> he is stealing Black Swan from us? <laughs> no, we're stealing Black Swan <laughs> from, from everyone else. No, Black Swan's stealing us. <laughs> what did I just read as well? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a wild observation, Loki. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> My throat is surviving again. Let's continue. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential. And that's not a lie. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories... I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. I believe Instead, that. I will continue to assist you. <laughs> Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. Well, I mean, I've never not accepted it. <laughs> Just there is some dishonesty going on, but it's chill. Seems like you had good intentions. She can steal me for all I care. Yo, that's real. <laughs> can I trust Aventurine? My take on this might surprise you. You're gonna say yes. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's oh. an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. That's actually a very valid point. He may be suspicious as hell, but at the end of the day, he works for the IPC, and everyone from the IPC cares about the... the dough. So in order for him to effectively get that dough, there are certain, you know, contracts and businesses that they have to uphold and reputations. So that's a pretty valid argument, Black Swan. I actually, I never thought about it that way. But like I said, he's, I feel like he hasn't been directly dishonest to us, right? He's been manipulative and he has hidden some of the truths from us to get what he wants. But at the same time, he has never outright lied. So, as far as that goes, for now, I feel like I do actually kind of trust Aven what Aventurine says a little bit. Obviously, he is very misleading, but 
if he says something to us at face value, you can kind of interpret it. <laughs> Without thinking that, oh, maybe he's just outright lying, right? He wants to manipulate, but legally. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so just be smarter. <laughs> I would never trust a gambler, period. Turtle, we're all gamblers here. <laughs> <laughs> you play- we all play gotcha games, okay? Let's be honest. <laughs> We're all gotcha gamers in this chat. <laughs> Trust no one, not even yourself. <laughs> but always be on guard, particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. All right, TLDR, read the fine print, baby, and you'll be fine. Will do. <laughs> I mean, an actual game. I know, I know. <laughs> We're kidding, kidding around. <clears throat> and no IPC trust in this capitalist universe. <laughs> but he got cooked by a child. <laughs> Listen, he's a businessman. That to me. <laughs> It's because Sparkle, Sparkle is a child, that she knows how to roast. <laughs> Dude, people nowadays, I feel like nowadays there's children that can literally roast you into the ground. Straight up. <laughs> and I have no defense against them. I think Aventurine's on the good side. Yeah, I genuinely do, at the end of the day, feel like in this particular case, the family is way too suspicious. They're definitely hiding something. I feel like the... IPC, at the end of the day, they're greedy, but because they're greedy, they are actually, you can trust them to value the best outcome, I guess, if that makes sense. I didn't word that properly, but because for the IPC, right, because they value wealth and, you know, being able to end control, they would actually want the best outcome for Panacone because they want to control Panacone. <laughs> so that's why I feel like in this case, the IPC actually is kind of, you can trust them to do things for their own gain, is my point. Yeah, Maxing, <laughs> listen. I am, I am. Honestly, so, so much, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys keep talking to me, okay? So I'm chatting. What do you I think is the mastermind? I Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. You dude, Sam tried to kill us! <laughs> I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. Or sure, I mean, we didn't even know she was an... Uh, what should I call it again? One of the lieutenants? <laughs> of an Eon? No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from See, us. See, I trust that. <laughs> you can trust he, you can trust someone who's dishonest to be dishonest. That's all. Exactly. And everyone in Penacony is dishonest, so. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. Okay, okay. Age blaming us for her yapping? Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm reading chat. My bad, I guess. <laughs> That's why, during this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Yeah, she's also the center of my universe, so. Acheron, I don't care. I don't care what motives, what hidden agendas you have. I'm sure at the end of the day, she's probably not a bad person, you know, she's just really, she, you know, she's just probably doing what she thinks is right. I trust her. I know she's lying to us, but I still trust her. This is not me coping, okay? No, no, I'm not delusional. <laughs> There's no way Acheron would want us to, want, want to harm us, right? She seemed pretty genuine when she was trying to send Firefly away earlier. Are you willing to bring me out of this memory zone? Why, of course. But now is not the time. Oh, because we need to learn the truth from Aventurine. I know you're confused. And... sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles in water. Disappearing in an instant. 
Nah, she became slime on the ground. <laughs> she became a fluid a little bit more viscous than water. <laughs> I still can't believe they just made her splat like that. That is so, so messed up. How could they do her like that? <laughs> Poor Firefly, she deserved better. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Man. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. I know, right? Can she stop reminding us about the Firefly incident? <laughs> I keep getting focused on the new stuff that we're learning, but then she always brings it back to Firefly, and then it gets sad all over again. <laughs> I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices. It is the right choice. Later, oh, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. All right. What is the truth? Tell us. Go and meet Aventurine, or I could still choose not to help. But I want to know the truth. Aventurine will give me the red pill. Give Excellent. it. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper. <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. Sometimes the way Aventurine talks really gets to me. <laughs> I need him to not use certain tones, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, it'll it'll harm my harm, harm my my heart a little bit. <laughs> I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. Right? He's zesty. I know! And it does things to me, okay? <laughs> I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends, don't let me down. Try my best? <laughs> Please, this way, if you will. The music's nice. Oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it We're again? going into the red room. <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? The last time we met was right here. This music is so ominous. Why'd the music stop? Well, all right. This is it. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. I genuinely don't think I could be surprised. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I feel like it's like this is one of the scenarios that I've concocted in my head. <laughs> well, let's find oh, out. Oh, I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. With the coin, right? Are we missing memories? Tell me. Doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. He cut a, He got cut off by Acheron. Oh, wait, maybe that was intentional on Acheron's part. Because he was about to tell us something and then he couldn't because Acheron showed up? Look, friend. The game has already begun. What are all these bubbles? Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. A body has been <gasps> discovered! <gasps> What? No reason to choose otherwise. <laughs> the timing of that, though. <laughs> and no other choices. Wait, is Robin dead? Dead? There was purple in her chest. To be continued? What the? F <laughs> we don't get answers. I thought I would get some answers. 
Like, I knew there was something wrong with Robin, but... Wait. Mother, I'm back. Wait. So this is a fake Robin, right? Someone's pretending to be Robin? Because the real Robin is actually stuck in the real dreamscape who has been attacked? Welcome back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? Wait, is... Wait, so Robin... is not actually... I think that implies Robin's dead dead. Wait. <laughs> So we've never knew Robin to begin with. This is a fake. This is an imposter. That's why she had the robotic voice. Well, I knew she was an imposter, but but the other Robin disappeared. Is she dead? <laughs> Cause the last time someone disappeared within the dreamscape, it was Firefly, and I think she's dead. <laughs> What's going on? What is happening? I'm losing my mind. Literally, I'm so confused. What is the truth? What is reality anymore? <laughs> what is in the dream? <laughs> What's going on? Remember in the beginning when March said her voice sounded off? Yeah, I also said her voice sounded off because it sounded like she had a huge filter on it. I mean, Tanyun is dead, but Robin isn't? Do we know that for sure though? Because she disappeared just now. Disappeared like Firefly. Listen, 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 yeah. I don't know. Okay, they explain? Okay. It's fine. Don't worry. Wait, she sounds normal now. It's fine? <laughs> no, no, this is not good. You're the pride of the family. And don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. I... no. She sounds normal now. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Is it because of the watchmaker's guest list? No, it's still- no, there's still a little bit of the effect there. Yes, I received the report that... Death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry, I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. He's talking about Duke Inferno, I'm assuming, because Duke Inferno was murdered by Acheron, and then someone took the invite. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. Are they talking about Acheron? In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. Oh, Sunday! It's giving me a little bit of a... <laughs> a little bit of the crazy villain protagonist vibes right now. I mean, antagonist vibes right now. I won't lie. <laughs> I can't believe this has happened. Was... someone killed again? Yes. There were two. Or a firefly? One was a stowaway. Uh, the other... was you. So she is dead! That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Wait, does this mean we never get Robin as a playable character? <laughs> Wait! So she's dead dead! <laughs> what? What? That's so messed. They can't just give us Robin's design like that and then not give it to us. Hello? Can not confirm Robin's a playable character releasing in V2.2? But how? Does that mean she's not dead? <laughs> Are they dead or not? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, there she goes again. Chicken wing boy. There she goes again. Sparkle stirring up trouble. <laughs> Oats of Harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Wait, so does this also mean we, we don't get to see Robin's performance in-game? That's messed up. 
I wanted to see her sing <laughs> in front of us. <laughs> what the hell? Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. There, who's that? Who's that referring to? Can people speak normally, please? <laughs> And stop confusing me with what is happening. <laughs> Why does everyone in this goddamn dream speak in riddles? Give it to me plain and clear. I'm dumb, okay? I need you to spell it out for me. <laughs> <sighs> well, for Tanya, we get her first before dead, but these two dead dead first. So yeah, that's that's the thing. I don't know. I mean, they could still do it, but. Oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? Or I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? So she is dead. <laughs> really? Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. Oh? It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, that's so sad. I out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wait, that's so sad. Robin's dead. <laughs> he lost his sibling, his loved one. <laughs> Why is this so depressing? <coughs> like, like he's mourning right now, but he still has to obviously uphold all the responsibilities and shit. What is going on? What is going on here? Let's cope. Sunday said spiritual death, not normal death. Okay, true, true, true. Maybe just because they die in the dream doesn't mean they die IRL. Okay, okay. Spiritual death could just mean that maybe there's a way to recover them in the real world. <laughs> Sunday's gonna go crazy. Yeah, Sunday's gonna become the villain because I'm getting a little bit... <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> kind of maybe could go off the deep end vibes from him. Wow, you can endure that much? <sighs> Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she laughing? Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. <laughs> Bro is like, how dare you besmirch her name? All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes <laughs> on his wings? True! Are his wings like his piercings? Because I did see those spikes there. I just <laughs> Wait, guys, Sparkle is so funny, you know? <laughs> She's a roast master. <laughs> and also so unserious. <laughs> we all need we all need a little bit of sparkle in our lives, honestly. <laughs> There's no need. <laughs> The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. Who is it? Tell us. <laughs> Don't leave us hanging, Sunday. So aren't we going through enough? Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be hung. There, there, there. there. Any names in chat? Causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to be fallen. Any down. proper nouns? <laughs> and when that time comes, the heathen will realize they're but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Watchmaker. Guys? Sunday? I think. So far. 
is probably the most sus character in Panacone. Like, I didn't think much of him before, but I feel like he's going to go off the deep end and become the villain. <laughs> He, he feels a little bit unhinged. <laughs> Who done it? <laughs> Wait, they really... <laughs> they really named... <laughs> that quest, Who done it, at the end? <laughs> God damn it, Star Rail crew. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> But also, what the f They gave us no answers. I thought they would get answers something. I thought eventually was supposed to give us some big revelation that would give us a little bit of insight into what's going on in the depths of Pentacony. But no, instead he brings us into this stupid room in which he just shows us a stupid dead body of a character who I just completely out of left field did not expect to show up again until later in the story. But apparently she's been dead all along. And she was also a character that I've been looking forward to too. Like, well... <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> Just in time for pay. How are we supposed to wait until the end of March for the next installment? We have to wait two months. Two months with this cliffhanger for more story. Black Swan story mission gives you a little more info. Okay. Because there's still black swans and sparkles, right? Is this? I thought it was sparkles, not black swans, but... Oh, I guess it's both of them. Yeah, because it's Sparkle and Black Swan. Um... But God, what the hell? <laughs> I'm literally... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> There's just so much information that has been dumped on me. And I don't know how to process it. They really killed off two of the characters that I was really looking forward to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the thing is, okay. So, because I think lore-wise, I think Firefly and Robin are actually canonically dead. I know they're both going to become playable characters, but because I think Firefly 100% is actually dead dead, but I mean, it could just be spiritual death, like they said, but I feel like making it not be a real death kind of would cheapen the experience of it, you know? You get what I mean? Like, as much as I don't want them to be dead, I feel like if they aren't dead, then it kind of ruins the whole impact of them killing them off in the story. While I don't want them to be dead, I kind of hope they stay dead. <laughs> For the sake of good story writing. <laughs> Is this me coping? I just don't want to go on a roller coaster ride of emotions again, okay? <laughs> uh, I have the theory that they can be revived because of the mechanic of the boss battle. I guess, but... I feel like that kind of ruins the impact of it though, you know? If it's like, oh, they died, but they're not actually dead, hmm. then it kind of makes it feel like, oh, okay, so that means people who die, it's not as like big of a deal anymore because people can always come back to life kind of thing. <laughs> I'm very curious if they're actually going to stay <laughs> deceased. <laughs> I think they're getting abducted by death like boss gameplay. That could be, that could be the case because the boss does abduct people's souls. So in this case, maybe when we defeat the boss at the very end, maybe it'll release all the people's souls that he has stolen. So maybe we will get a happy ending. I don't know. I don't know. There's there's too much info. <laughs> there's too much info, but also not enough info. You know? <laughs> they gave us a lot of knowledge, but at the same time, left us with way too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Shaoji and happy ending clueless. <laughs> Holy Korea. Guys. <laughs> uh, 
Surprise, shocked. You know what? I did say, what could they possibly show me that would make me surprised? And <laughs> I I ate my words, okay? I was <laughs> so surprised. <laughs> also, the body has been found sound alert was really funny. <laughs> Imagine if the master was Misha avenging Mikhail. <laughs> Imagine the four star is the final boss of <laughs> Oh, Fenacody, that would be pretty wild. Oh yeah, that was- that story genuinely has just, in general, yeah, left me with way more questions than answers. I thought we would get a little bit of closure, but just... <laughs> Welcome to Honkai, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, uh, please feel, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts, because God knows I have so many, but also none at all right now. <laughs> and also sub to the channel if you want to be notified the next time I, po I post a video or am alive. And yeah, apart from that, Honkai, Star Rail, you, need, you guys need to chill, okay? You're metagaming, you're, you're going off in the story, killing characters left and right. I have, and everyone in Pentacone is a liar. <laughs> I, don't, I can't trust anyone anymore. I can't trust anyone in the game. I can't trust anyone IRL. <laughs> what are we to do in this situation? <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, that'll be it for today. Until the next time, we will probably play some of the other character quests and see if there's a bit more lore drops there. And yeah, have a lovely rest of your day. And yeah, take care, everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>